In Quebec today, 48 years after a 16-year-old girl was raped and murdered, police have identified her killer. Quebec Bureau Chief Genevieve Beauchemin now on the cold case solved by science. Yeah. I receive a phone call. For nearly half a century, the fight of Yvonne Pryor's life was to discover who raped and killed her 16-year-old daughter, Sharon, in March of 1975. Now investigators have finally solved the case. The profile from the bones yeah. is a full match with the one from the crime scene that wow. belongs to the murderer. So this bilingual documentary by news program Nouveau Info tracked how police in Longueuil just outside Montreal closed this cold case, one of the most notorious in Quebec history. Sharon, a loving, popular and smart teen, was walking to a pizza restaurant a few blocks from her home when she came across a stranger, her killer. Franklin Mayhood Romine was an American, then 28 years old, living in Montreal. A violent man with a long list of criminal convictions, not identified among the more than 120 suspects police investigated. He was always play, playing hide-and-seek uh, with law enforcement. He was going uh, back and forth uh, to the U.S. That, until new advances in forensic biology and genetic genealogy led investigators to rebuild his family tree. Findings prompted them to exhume Romine's body. He died in 1982, and final DNA tests confirmed he was the one who took Sharon away from her family. You may never have come back to our house on Congregation Street that weekend, but you have never left our hearts. Investigators here are already applying what they call Sharon's technique to other cold cases, and they're hopeful they'll be able to close at least one of those before the end of the year and others in the future. And while nothing in the world could erase the grief of losing a daughter, answers have provided some comfort. It was always on my mind, who killed Sharon? And investigators say Sharon may now finally rest in peace. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Longueuil, Quebec.